Hey. Hi. I'm so excited to see you. I know. I'm nice to see you. Next to night. <laughs> this is the story of two best friends who decided to start a beer review channel in the middle of a pandemic. We're Karen Candy and we are Two Blondes Drink Beer. Hi friends, welcome back to Two Blondes Drink Beer. I'm Karen, this is Candy. Hello. And today we're going to be drinking a BJCP category 30A spice over vegetable. It's our favorite category. Mm. Uh, on the base of a 16A, which is a sweet stout because it includes lactose, today we're drinking Holstein by BKS. Holstein. And it's got a cow. <laughs> I like their labels. You know, all cow beers we've reviewed so far have been good beers. I will link to the cow playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Joy of cow playlist that makes me so happy. I'm married to an ex dairy farmer, guys. I mean, I feel like cows run in our blood. <laughs> so, awesome. Um, this I like this can. I art. like their labels. Um, it's like subtle and classy, yeah. but still eye catching with a nice gold color. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's gold and it's got the silver for the cow and the yeah, I like and the, it and the writing. Yeah, it's just I don't know, it looks cool. Okay, so this is a milk stout. It's six percent, so it's not impossible. sessionable. Sweet. Okay. They wanted it to be sessionable. All right. So Holstein. I mean, sixteen ounces. Their milk stout was <laughs> one of the first beers that they ever brewed. Oh. And then this is their fifth year anniversary version because yes. they've never done one before with coconut and vanilla. This is coconut vanilla Holstein. I'm excited to try. I'm excited. This was a special release for their five year anniversary. So they did five beers. This is one yes. of five, I guess. So I made sure to order it and pick it up. Woo, what a pretty pour. And I'm excited that she did that. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, couldn't sleep one night scrolling to across <laughs> that. Ooh, purchase. You know, Yay. how you do at night. <laughs> And then she brought it to my house like oh. a week or two ago, and oh. I haven't tried it yet, and it's been hard because every time I open the fridge, I'm, I'm like, the fridge. oh, I want to drink that. Okay. But I didn't. Aroma. Oh, it smells good. It smells, it smells like, like coconut. coconut. <laughs> coconut vanilla. Yeah, it does. So they said there's almost a pound of coconut for every gallon. That's a lot wow. of coconut. And this is one we're supposed to drink cold. Oh. And fresh. You're not supposed See? to, like, you know... Lay it down. Don't right solid this. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Oh, so 12 so out of 12. 12 out of 12. Yeah. yeah for the three, three, three out of three. three. It's got pretty head. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. Here for this. Okay, you guys. I don't normally like 6% stouts. Mm -hmm. This is an exception. Mm -hmm. This is not taste watered down. No. It tastes rich, but not too sweet. It doesn't have that burning that the Imperials yeah. have. It's not warming. This mm. is a delicious beer. Mm, so good. Mm. So did you know BKS stands for the Brookside. Brookside Neighborhood? Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. Haven't I don't you know. seen all the stickers? Yeah, but I don't know. There's like a lot of those. With There's letters, a sticker you know? thing with that neighborhood. It's a, it's a neighborhood in Kansas City, and they're very proud of it, as they should be. It's a cool place. Like if I lived in Kansas yeah. City proper, that's where I would live. Cute neighborhood. Um, yeah. But they, they are so proud of their neighborhood. All the cars there have BKS on these oval stickers on all the cars. I them all the time. Yeah, but I had no idea that's what that meant. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's a husband and wife brewery. And it used to be that you had to like reserve your beers on Thursday when the release came out at the exact time and they would literally sell out in less than five minutes. It was so, so hard to get an order in. And then you would go by and pick it up on Friday or Saturday. Um, now I think they're just open like regular hours and it's not quite as competitive because they've increased production a little bit. But um, I've read their, their goal was never to like make a lot. Their yeah. goal was to make a few beers and make them really, really well. Ooh. And I, I really think they've done Amen that. Of that. It's good. <laughs> yes. It's really good. It's so I kind good. of appreciate that about them. Um, that. You know, yeah. they're not focused on mass production or I like that. just cranking them out. It yeah. definitely is like a very neighborhood location. Speaking of, I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on this, guys, but I think what was there before BKS was KCCC, which is Kansas City Community, I don't know what the other C's stand for, but it's an alcohol and drug rehab center. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> dying laughing. I am... 
I'm like 90% sure that that's where KCCC was before now. And I know this because we used to have to refer alcoholics. It was one of the few places that did inpatient alcoholic Ooh. detox, and they take people without insurance. This is, you guys don't need to know this, hopefully. Please, okay. I don't watch a beer team. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe we should put their number on the bottom just, just in case. case you need it. They if you moved. need help, go get it. Don't go to the old location. Don't go to the old I, it's been moved for a while, but I'm not 100% sure, but I used to have to oh go god, to KCCC funny. as part of my. Education and I, I am really, a, I'm fairly certain that's where it used to be, which well, gave me a giggle. It's really close to my esthetician, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it's easy to. Mine too. We share an esthetician. Pick stuff up from the brewery if I'm going to be. Hi there. Kate. Hi Kate. <laughs> we can <laughs> always see her tomorrow. My eyebrows party. are looking good, Kate. Yeah, yeah thanks, Kate. Just quit. <laughs> Keeping me here. Like. Um. Yes. No. Next time I go to her, I don't know why I don't stop by BKS. Every I time know. I go to her, yeah, like it really is right there. Well, because normally I go during the day, and then you know I'm supposed to work and like not drink while I'm working. But so. you can at least pick up. I don't think you but can, can buy these in stores, right? I think yeah. you have to get the yeah. cans from the tasting right. room. I don't think they just like they it can, all. but you have to get it from the tasting yeah. room. Yeah, so like the coolers there, where you can go in and pick it up. You can yeah. go pick up a four pack. This is true. I don't have to. You don't have to sit in there. Now, if you're gonna be in their tasting room, you probably should just go in and have a pint of something. Sometimes they have stuff there that. You can't take to go, also. Yes, yes. And they make a lot of IPAs, so I will say, like, a lot of their stuff, we don't necessarily drink because we're not huge IPA fans, but they do make these, like, really delicious so So when I saw it was a special release, had to have it. So I, I read something kind of fun about them. They, and this is just, like, in spring of this last year, I think, they started experimenting with some lagers, but a lager, as you guys know, is different than an ale. And this is BKS Artisan Ales. So oh. I think there was like some conflict about the Ooh, we called ales and now we're making lagers. What to do? Anyway, they have this thing they now <laughs> called the, name. the Pivo Project. And it's I like a separate lagering part. And it's brewed oh. under BKS Artisan Ales. It's in the same brewery and they have tanks, oh. lagering tanks. But it's kind of a newer thing and I think they wanted the separation, separation? because of the... Oh, yeah. I didn't really think about that. I uh, know, I didn't either. But yeah. I thought it was kind of fun. I mean, same people are brewing it and whatnot. But, yeah. but they're kind of, you know. Well, and I don't know what PIVO stands for or why it's called that. I kind of looked a tiny bit, but I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. that brandy. I, I thought it was funny that Brian and Mary, the owners, <laughs> Mary was a marketing, she was a marketing something, yeah, sure. and um, Brian was an in insurance, but had a serious home brewing uh -oh. issue, kind of like both of our husbands, mm -hmm. and apparently they were on some road trip, and she was like, well, what if we opened up a brewery, pulls out her laptop, and then like Mary Marketing Land comes up with a business plan, and I thought that was hilarious. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, much like we're just two blondes drink beer, but we got a whole website that I built. You guys, <laughs> you guys should go check out Shopify. the merch. New merch check is out really, new merch. really cute. So cute. So cute. Yeah. And if you need a gift, you know, it's gifting season. Two blondes drink beer dot com. Yes. I mean, it's easy to so remember. So easy, you guys. <laughs> and if you're local, you can do pickup and you don't have to pay shipping. And we'll yeah, bring come it to our you. house. Yeah. We don't come care. By. Come by. We'll bring it to you. Whatever. We'll have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Okay, mm. this is really good. It's like 20 out of 20. I really like it. For sure. See, I can't think of a single six percent single digit stout that, that I really I would enjoy. drink again. That I would like go back Blue for. Blue jeans isn't again. really heavy, right? Oh. And that one's pretty chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, I like but that one. It still has kind of. I feel it's like, like most powder. Of them have, <laughs> mm, the lactose helps. It makes it really smooth. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's got so much fla more flavor than normal for a low ABV beer. Mm -hmm. I love that we call 6% low ABV, low ABV, but it is for stouts. Yeah, but for most people in general, I guess it's probably not, but I, um, do, I do consider it sessionable BKS things. It is. I mean, where is it? 12% probably, is it? No. So, that's no, delicious. So I mean, it's fine for a Wednesday night. <laughs> I know. I was going to pour a little more, but I do have to pick up the I, I have a little bit just for my husband, because he'll want to try that. That's really good. Mm. You really get the coconut. I don't get a lot of vanilla, but I think they said that the vanilla bean they chose was, like, just to enhance the coconut flavor for the most part. I mean, it sense. totally does. Well, I like that, because sometimes too much vanilla, like, that's, like, a weird aftertaste. I yeah. Know. So, I don't get that. All right. 20 out of 20 mouthfeel. Yes. Five out of five. Five out of five. It's medium bodied. It's nice and carbonated. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. 
It's got the tiny bit of bitterness from the chocolatey kind of stuff. Yeah, but, but not a lot. Chocolatey. Not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, enough to where it's not super sweet. I think I love that about it. Most coconut stouts are really sweet. sweet. And you drink like a couple shots of it, and then you're like, I don't know. It's getting right. a little... <laughs> and this isn't. Like, <laughs> we could down this easy. I'm mm. making mine last to savor. Mm. So tasty. Perfect so, campfire, fire pit beer. It's fire pit season, oh, you guys. you guys, this would be perfect fire pit beer. Perfect, for Ooh. real. I've been on a lot of fire pits lately. Yeah, you have. I've been enjoying them, but my clothing, like my lounge clothing, starting to smell like fire. Um, <laughs> oh, so, you didn't tell me about your morning. Oh, my God. So Kara gave me the second compliment today that I've had on my ponytail, which is funny because this was, I had like no time to get ready this morning. So here was my plan. Okay. We don't go to the gym on Wednesday mornings. It's a Wednesday. That's not when you guys are seeing this, but whatever. It's important to the story. Anyway. It means we aren't up early. <laughs> yes. Yes. I was going to get up early because okay. I am behind at work, and it's driving mm -hmm. me crazy. I just gotten caught up, and then I took mm -hmm. two days off, and I came back to a mess. That's firm. And I was so excited to be completely caught up that I was like, I can't let this eat at me again. I've got to get all caught up. So my plan was, since we're not going to be in the gym, I'm mm -hmm. going to work early. I'm going to get all caught up. Had it all ready to go. Had my outfit ready. Thank God. Um, Wake up. Getting ready. My daughter gets on the bus about an hour before I have to be at work. So my plan was to leave when she leaves. Yeah. Yeah. And then Good I'm plan. at work an hour early. Right? Yeah. So I get up. I get mostly ready. I get these clothes on. And that's about it. And uh, and I was like, I can do my hair real quick after she gets on the bus. We go out to the bus stop. 30 minutes later, no bus. <gasps> it was actually 25. So here's what happened. 25 minutes, I was like, you're going to be late to school. Yeah. And I suddenly don't have a lot of time. Her school's kind of far away to drive her all the way there and then also get back to work. Yeah. And I was like, crap, Molly, I'm going to have to drive you. She looks at the time and starts freaking out no. she's like i'm gonna be in trouble i'm gonna get a tardy oh, she no. just and i can't talk her out of it she works herself into a huge tizzy yeah. and she's just bawling and i was like wait you oh. can't go to work like that or work at school <laughs> it's like work we leave the bus stop and start to come back to the house to see her bus fly by our house doesn't even apply brakes we only know it was her bus because all of the people on the bus who know and love molly later told her she didn't even slow down. We were all going, stop, stop. Was it a different driver? It was a sub. So her bus driver's out on leave for a while. I don't know if she had surgery or something. So she's been having different subs. And this one obviously was a mess. So they didn't stop anyway, but we had just left. So I was like, okay, I had on slippers and I had the dog in the car and my hair was a mess. I hadn't touched it from sleep. And so I changed out my slippers. Threw on some mascara, threw my hair in a pony, left the dog, and took Molly to school. By then, I realized not only am I not going to be early to work, I'm going to be, be a little, little late, late, actually. <laughs> so, and I'm trying to calm her down. She normally eats breakfast at school, and now she hasn't had breakfast. Oh and I'm like gosh. a protein bar, and I'm like, oh, this is a birthday cake protein bar. You'll like yeah. it. Takes a tiny bit. That tastes like cardboard. Won't eat it. Oh, yeah. I found some nuts. Turns out she still hates nuts. <laughs> I had nothing for her to eat in the car. We did not have time to go through a drive through no. I was like, you know what? You're going to have to suck it up. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. We get there, and she's still not quite okay. Oh, no. She's still tearful yeah. and so I told her I said I will not let them give you a tardy today this is yeah. not your fault it's right. bus 39's right. fault so yeah. I'm like ready to go to town right I'm already like yeah. at a right. like a, a seven yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but and so I march into the office and I'm like this is Molly I almost said her last name <laughs> and she's in sixth grade and her bus, bus 39, 39, was over 25 minutes late and then flew by our house. She will not be counted accent or yeah. tardy or whatever. And I'm a little forceful at this point. And yeah. she's still like, Ooh. yeah. And about that time, our friend Kristen comes in. <laughs> Walking out of the corner, who we know really well. And I was just like, what up? I said her last name. I'll bleep it. So anyway, yeah. I totally changed. Like you can't be mad when your friends are around. Right. So everybody's there. It's like you're okay, Molly, and whatever. And Kristen tells me oh, your pony is so cute. <laughs> Something like that changed my day right around. So I texted her later, and I was like, "Sorry, I was short. It's been a morning." <laughs> but I was like, "Thank you so much for complimenting my pony." Yeah. So you're number two compliment. So cute. So it cute. was rough. 
It was a rough morning. Oh, and then I spilled coffee all down my front. Oh, no. I was wearing this to work. This is a white cashmere vest. Oh, it's so cute. So I had to work really hard to get the coffee out of the front, oh. and I realized I still have some stains on my skirt. Oh. It's like the first time I've worn it, and I just spilled coffee, spilled all, coffee all over. I was literally, I felt like I was in such a spiral. I did positive affirmations before I got out of my car. I'm mm -hmm. not joking. I was like, if there's the power... Of thinking that can change my day around. I was like, I'm going to have a good day. It's going to be all right. I'm going to be a good person. Ooh, I don't know. Something in the air because I'm kind of having a week. So I had like a really off day the other day. I think I told you that. Mm -hmm. my, I told my husband and he did like a flip, like trying to flip my switch to an on day. And I was like, that's not working. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he told you to do? He goes, flip, flip. No. <laughs> yeah. Positive affirmations mm -hmm. are supposed to help. So um, this morning... <laughs> I was like dead to the world. I think because I hadn't slept from like two nights ago. Yes, very well. We have a little yes. dog that was like sick and you know how that goes. There was a puking thing. Ah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, found some more today. Yeah. But anyway, long story short. So I hadn't slept very well, so I was exhausted this morning. Um, Carter, Kevin got up, got Carter ready. Carter gets leaves to go to school. Kevin gives me a kiss. I set an alarm. I was like thinking, okay, I'm going to sleep a little later because didn't have to get didn't up early, didn't have a mm -hmm. meeting until nine. I was like, all right, well, I got a little more time. I'm going to snooze. Um, turns out I set that alarm incorrectly and I woke up oh, at no. 10 till nine uh -oh. <laughs> before, uh -oh. I had, before I had a meeting, which thankfully I was not presenting on and didn't have to like lead or anything or I would have been a disaster. So yeah, totally like threw on some clothes, bed head, no makeup, joined the call, didn't get on video, you know, like whole yeah. thing. And then kind of, you know, got powered through the morning, a few more meetings, finally have a break. And I'm just like, I just felt like, I just felt like up and down with like emotions and tense and stress this week and all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I looked at the temperature. It's like 72 degrees outside. It's sunny. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to go have lunch on the deck, even though I have like a million things to do. Right? Nice. So I sat outside for mm -hmm. 20 minutes. I like literally did this. Yeah, got some vitamin D on your face. <laughs> yes. And just like did some deep breathing mm -hmm. after I ate my lunch. I felt so much better. Came back in, worked. That's I totally nice. needed that like 20 minute break. That's good. So, All right. Yeah. Overall. Your overall drinking pleasure. pleasure. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Definitely drink again. BKS, well done. I mean, Nailed this is, it. it's really, really good. It's so good. This There's is nothing bad about this beer. A perfect beer. Perfect beer. 50 out, out of 50, 50 for, for BKS, Pol Artisan yes. Ales, Ales, Holstein Coconut, Holstein and Vanilla Beans. Coconut, Vanilla Beans. Maybe again. Let's do it. 50 out of 50 for BKS, Artisan Ales, Whole scene, coconut, coconut and, and vanilla beans. beans. Cheers! Ooh. We just need a pizza. Can we just start at that time? Man, that's delicious. It's really good. Okay, I can't. This is the best beer I've had in a while. A while. I feel like I keep having some where I'm like, mm, no. I'll drink it, but is it worth the calories? I don't really want it to work out again. again. Yeah. This? Yes. This? Worth it. Totally worth it. Whatever that. calorie content's in here, worth it. 100% mm -hmm. delicious. Go get it before they run out. I don't know since it's a limited. Limited release for their fifth anniversary. But, but they have it now. They're probably the Holstein, like, the regular. Plain, yeah, yeah, which I'm sure is also delicious. I haven't yeah. had it before. Do you? I don't think I've Just their base. Yeah. Milks out. But um, this one's really yeah, good. Extra special. Your husband would love this. He loves mm -hmm. coconut stuff. Yeah. Well, I think <coughs> we have a four pack, right? I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the other two went. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I have a four pack at my house also. You do? Yeah. You had two four packs? I bought, two, I bought one for you and one for I house. would know that. Yeah. I would have already had one. Yeah. I thought that four pack was the only four pack, yeah, and so, I haven't drank so it. So now I owe you one, because oh, you took one of me. Yay. Yeah, so okay. I totally have another one. Have yeah, three more. So, I'm going to need that other mm -hmm. one here. Yeah. <laughs>